Morning Great Britain. Bye-bye. It's just gone 6.30 a.m. I like a sausage. Welcome to Tuesday. We're having a party. Broadcasting live from London's Leicester Square, across the United Kingdom and the world. Oh, no, shut up. This yeah. is the Chris Moyle Show. Yes! On Radio X. I don't want Chris Moyle. The Chris Moyle Show in the UK. Text 83936. For the rest of the world, tweet the studio using at Radio X. Now, here's Chris. Hello. I am here. And you are there. Tuesday, 17th of November today. I woke up this morning and I thought it was Wednesday. Oh, and then oh I, was like, I hate that. Oh. And then I came into work and I felt instantly better because I mentioned it to Pippa and she went, I thought it was the weekend. I oh, did. no, did oh. you? That's the when worst. You woke up. I woke up at sort of midnight. I yeah. just slept, like, for a couple of hours, woke up at midnight and thought, is it, do I have to get up? Is it Friday? No. Oh. oh. You've got to stop getting up at midnight on Friday. <laughs> yeah. That's no, hang way on. too early. <laughs> Is it Saturday? No. Oh, Listen, no. I'm never going to d- question your commitment to the show, Paul, <laughs> but if you're getting up at midnight, you're working too hard. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, I had that once at a radio station. I worked at all the <clears throat> all the DJs had other jobs. Yeah. So, like, the one guy would have to do the What Song Guide every day and somebody else had to do whatever. And, and uh, I did the evening show. Hmm. And the boss was like, well, you know, you... All you do is the show. Right. You know, as in my job. Yeah. And I'm like, well, yeah, but I put a load of work into it. And and I was like, well, you know, last night, I didn't leave till... I finished on the air at 10 at night. I didn't leave till 2 in the morning because I was working on stuff. And he goes, oh, you shouldn't really be working. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be staying till 2. I'm like, well, hold, on, hold on a second. Am I working too too little or, or You're too much? Mixed messages, then, boss. And it was a fascinating psychological lesson that I learned very early on in my career, Dom. Was it? Yeah. Which was the boss would get in at nine. Yeah. And the breakfast show DJ had been on the air. Mm-hmm. And then obviously the breakfast DJ then is in the office afterwards, so he sees the breakfast DJ, the mid morning yeah. guy, same thing. Sees the guy who does like lunch times come in at like ten, and he doesn't leave till whatever three. <clears throat> and I would get in at maybe half five, and he'd leave at quarter to six. Right. So in his head, I literally did 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then someone said, you should just come in early. And I went, why? So he sees you mm. around, and then he's like, oh, okay, fine. And yeah. I'm like, well, well, you're just getting at four. I'm like, I'm not until seven. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but just, you know, come in and make a few phone calls. Yeah. And- and I'm like, it's not going to work. It's just going to look like I've come in and I've used the phone. <laughs> so I start, I, I would do it like a couple of days a week. I'd get in really early. And uh, I think it worked. It's it's hard to look busy if you're not busy. I'm not very good at, at that. I've had jobs at previous places where, essentially, I've had five hours where I have to really do anything. And it's very difficult. You have to move... Are you move, talking about this job? No, not this one. Right. No, it was actually on... Um, a local radio station. <laughs> uh, morning, everyone. A uh, local radio station. And I'd, you, you had to get up in four hours, really, before you had to do any work. It's very difficult. There's yeah. only so many faxes you can send. Do you know what I mean? This is back in the day, obviously. Faxes. No, it's all about electronic mail, as I call huh. it. I wrote a book in one of my old jobs. Did you? See, Children's that's, book, yeah. That's productive. Yeah, but it wasn't what I was meant to be doing. Oh, I right. just like, I was writing it during the job. Oh, okay. And then they come over and I just reduced the old screen. <laughs> Do something else. What's happened to that book? Can I can I can I take one guess? Mm. Mr. Jam. No, no, this wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't radio. Is that why he, he, he left? He went oh, as soon as Pippa went. I had this producer yeah. like <laughs> right getting all over the show. I'm like just sit over there and write a book. <laughs> no, this is this is pre radio days. What job were you doing? Uh, it was a. a it was a sort of elongated temp job. Right, okay. I was doing some sort of web type stuff. How were you? Yeah, but I found it quite, I could just do it quite quickly. Yeah. So I kind of finished it quite early. So a bit like, oh. And then crack on with your novel. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do now. 
Is that why you're so good at typing? Uh, no, I learnt that at school with yeah. Auntie Pam. Yeah, we all yeah, had typing to learn. is incredible. What do you mean watch? you learnt at a school with Auntie Pam? Well, um, my best friend's mum, yeah. Hefty Helen's mum, Auntie mm. Pam, was our commerce teacher at school, and we all had to learn touch typing. Really? Yeah, sounds proper fifties. Oh no, it does. Yeah, but it it, does, it's but such a skill to have. It's, it's brilliant. Makes so much sense. Yeah. But you have to slow down to get better. That's that's why not many people persevere with it. Because everyone kind of can get up to a good enough speed anyway. Mm. But then to actually learn touch typing, you have to slow down because you have to use your little fingers and stuff. People don't oh, like do using their little fingers. Cause they're, oh, I, I would do. I don't oh. do. Yeah, use little finger for the cue and stuff. What's your WPM at the moment, Pip? Whoop oh! Whoop em. <laughs> what, what's, your, what's your whoop em right now? None of your business. <laughs> 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 What's a, what's a good cat? There was nothing rude, uh, 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 even innuendo about that at all. And you went, none of your business. None of your business. Saucy. Words per minute is. We're going to have for your dinner tonight. Oh! Ooh, your it. dinner. Nosy Parker. <laughs> Mind your own. Mind your own. Um, I don't know. I guess You're it very, depends. Very, it's fascinating to watch. It's words per minute, but accuracy is also important. Ah, okay. So, I don't know, probably about... 70 or 80, I don't know. Do you know. have a typing face as well, if you're in the flow of it? Do you put your tongue out? I stuff? have a concentration face in general and it's not very attractive. Right, what do you do? It's just a bit of a, like... It's like... No, it's not that okay, it's, not that, it's, not, it's not that bad. I've never seen you do that. That looked like you were straining on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> not that you do that, obviously. smell under your nose or something. Well, I think I just kind of look a bit, uh, you know, cross... Yeah. Concentrate. And then I've got a really dormant mouth, like... <laughs> you've, seen, you've seen Pippa's face when she... When she types? Yeah, no, I have. She I, totally zones out. Yeah. yeah you're, of everything. You are in the zone. I you're, can't you're hear. You're very quick. I literally can't hear anything. Or if right. you're doing something else. No. See, and that's what it's like when Toby's playing Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you talk to him and he responds. You think he's responding. He's not heard a word you said. Yeah. yeah. It's good to know, isn't it? It's kind Tiff, of learning. Tiff talks out loud and will look at you. Oh, does she? Oh, yeah. yes, you've said this, yeah, while she's in and it's, mid-email And I'm used to it now, but it's still it's still weird when yeah. she'll be she'll be going... On the 20... It's the 27th of Tuesday. And she'll look right at me, mm. and I'll stop whatever I'm doing and go, is the what? Mm. It's the 27th of Tuesday, 20, 27, 28, 27, 27. <laughs> and I go, I don't know what you're talking about, and she'll yeah. go... So midday, yeah. midday, two hours. And I go, midday, two hours? What are you? And then she'll just turn away from me and go, Tuesday the 27th. Now, mid and I'm yeah. like... Is she after a response there, nope. or is it just... Nope. She's kind of looking through you, really, yep. isn't she? Right. She doesn't know I'm there. Right. Yeah. It's weird when people stare at you whilst they're doing stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, do <laughs> do you know remember I mean? when you were a cameraman doing them movies? <laughs> 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 they stare right down the lens. <laughs> <laughs> I just put you off. I was in a band years ago with a guy who was a very good guitar player, but when he was playing guitar, if you were having a rehearsal, he'd stare at you all the way through while he's playing guitar. It's really off putting. <laughs> and I, and like I, really if you'd have mentioned it to him, I bet he would go, I don't do that. Yeah, I don't, he also um, had his tongue hanging out as well when he was playing guitar. It wasn't very, wasn't a very good look. I do the tongue thing, so does my dad. Really? Mm. <laughs> There's 7, 6, 30, 8, yeah, I, don't know if we can... I don't know if you got that there, but uh, yeah. there it is. We both, we both got that. Uh, is that where concentrated? concentrating yes yeah, yeah i um i heard about tim Lioru on classic fm this morning oh. and i need to get the audio i might have misheard him mm. but i just What's i was walking issues? through the, an office at work and they have because we got a load of radio stations in the building they had classic fm on and uh he just said uh if you're one of those wf uh if you're one of those whfers mm. uh blah 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 and i went W H Cheffers. What's W H Cheffers? And he goes, maybe I'm one of those W H Cheffers. Uh, you know, there's people working from home. And I went, oh, <laughs> and then I went, W H Cheffers. That's work home from. That's not work from home. Work <laughs> home is from. <laughs> That's W A W F H's. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, Tim. Well, and then I thought. But then Tim's on Classic FM. He's not going to get that wrong. No. Oh, I must be half asleep. He wouldn't be dropping. So I need radio. Matt to get the audio to find out who's who's yeah. more tired, me or Tim Lioru on Classic FM. At twenty past six this morning, wasn't it? Yeah. Be there, Matt. Yeah, I'm here. Matt, can you can you access links from Classic FM from this morning? I can have a look. Yeah. About six twenty, Tim Lioru 
Can you just find out if he said WHFers? Yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> That's clearly Matt not listening to what I just said. And yeah. then he's like, Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> what does he want? listening. What do you want? Tim Lioro said something about big fat heifers. W. H. Smith, what's he on about? Yeah, I'll have, I'll have a look. Apparently, okay. there was a big fat heifer at W. H. Smith. <laughs> what's he on about? Listening to classical music or something. Oh. Right, what have we got today? Oh, Tuesday. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. It's not Monday, at least, is it? No. No. A Tuesday is that? My Monday wasn't too bad yesterday. Good. It was all right. Yeah, what'd you do? I went home and. Uh, I played on my iPad. I played a bit of Call of Duty Mobile on my iPad. Did you? Yeah, it relaxes me, believe it or not. Oh, nice. And then I faffed about yeah. for quite a while. Mm. And then I eventually trained and did my stupid, stupid training session from stupid, stupid Jamie. Yeah. Sadist. The sadist. Mm. And uh, I, I'm not sure if some of these exercises actually do anything. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's secretly filming you, just having a giggle. I think he is. Yeah. Is he listening now, Jamie? Uh, he, might he might be. He might be. Morning, Jamie. He might be up early. Well, I just got to do these. He's, and I don't know who comes up with these things, because I always think, what what is this doing? Mm. There'll be an ancient book covered in dust somewhere in his loft for like sadist. Exercise. Well, he's really, really, really into training exercise. He is a knowledge. Of it, you know, he's not like one of these personal trainers, like, you know, somebody who goes, "I think I'm going to be a personal trainer," and then within th three weeks they're working down a gym, and you go, mm, like, he, you know, he really knows his stuff, yeah, and he's really into it. Mm. You know, like you're into your, you know, hobby. He's what? he reads and he and he looks like stuff. he's into it, doesn't he? Yeah, and he's done everything. Mm. Like he, if you want to bulk up, if you want to trim down, mm. it's all different. And so he's really good, and he loves the science of it. He's very knowledgeable, actually. Really knowledgeable on it. And um, so, but yesterday, I was doing. Oh, he's just text. <laughs> <laughs> he's got me doing press ups, right? But with like a slidey disc thing, right? Yeah. So you get these discs that you can put. So you, you so imagine you're going into the press up position, mm -hmm. but under your right hand oh, is no. a slidey disc. No. Ooh. So when you go down to do the press up, oh, you slide your right arm out. Game over. And then you go back up again. Mine would just slide out and I'd, go f I'd face plant. So you know, not both ha not, not Oh, both. see, just one. Yeah. Like, otherwise you go. Because you would. You'd just hit the deck. Yeah. Yeah. You'd break Ow. your nose. <laughs> Did you lose any weight? No, my bust my nose, yeah. Jamie. And he's like, oh, no. I know you're going to do that. And I'm like, who came up with this? Who who is doing press ups and goes? They're just not difficult enough for me. Yeah, I need to. Um, I wonder if I slide my arm down to the right. And the, oh yeah, that's horrible. I'll make that an exercise. Let's write that one down. And then he's got me doing. Then I use the sliders on my feet. So you go into the press up position, and then you bring your body up to like a. Like a downward dog, I guess. Mm. You bring your, you pull your ass up in the air. Yeah. So you're having to. I get, I, I, oh, apparently, that's working on my abs. Yeah. I'm like, who knew? I don't have abs. Apparently, everyone's got abs. They're there somewhere. They're just aren't underneath, they? aren't they? Yeah. They're yeah. just underneath all this fat and gristle. <laughs> gristle. Yeah. I feel like you start to see them. Like you're starting to see them. I've got a one pack. Depending no, I, on what day of the week it is, what time right. of the day it is, and what angle you, I look at myself in the mirror, I've got a one-pack. Okay, it was better than a no-pack, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I never had a no-pack. I'd rather, I always had a no-pack, I just had a big yeah. belly. Mm. But yeah, I think I've got a one-pack. That's Good. excellent. And I can feel something, mm. but I'm not sure if that's just a lodged bit of pizza from the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> must have. <laughs> oh, it's awful under there. It really is. Oh, it's just a mess. Did you hear about that that rapper who uh, had um, right, had some abs? There we go. Oh, the rapper who had some abs. Yeah, he had two pack. He had a two pack. Oh, that's generous. That's generous. Yeah, I, know. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> he had two pack, didn't he? Right. All right. He yeah. had two pack. Oh, someone's texted. That would be the uh, hilarious. Police. See, Jamie said, "Yeah, I sent I sent Jamie a video yesterday, and he goes, I can def.' Oh, excuse me, one second. I'm so <clears> sorry. <throat> Six forty-five. You're listening to Radio X. Write it down. 
I sent him a video yesterday of me doing one of his stupid <laughs> exercises. Mm. And I've just changed my phones over, so luckily I don't have it here, so you can't even see it. Yeah. And he says, I can definitely see your ab in that video. Oh, okay. ab. Oh. <laughs> ab. Okay. That's good. What else was it? Oh, it's just, it was just horrible. It's just horrible. Some of it I enjoy and some of it I absolutely hate. So I don't understand people who just love everything about the gym. So yesterday was dumbbell sumo squats and then kettlebell Romanian deadlift. That's fine. Sumo squats sounds horrible. And then it's uh, alternate arm dumbbell floor press, holding up your other arm just off the floor. Mm. And then, so you do five reps. Imagine lying on your back and yeah. just lifting one arm up in the, in the air. So you do five on one arm, five yeah. on the other, then four and four, then three, three, two, yeah. two, one, one. And then you do the stupid sliding press-ups. Right. You do four times eight on each side. And so you do, your arms are already... Oh, my hurting. God. They're like jelly at the end. You get you yeah. four, four sets, tickle. and you get off from the four sets. I've mm. got veins popping out my shoulders, yeah, and okay. from, literally, from... From about my nipples up, mm. oh, I look beefy. Oh, oh I look beefy, yeah. Pippa. Do you? From the nips up, I look yeah. hot. Nips up beef. Nips up beef. That's where we live. <laughs> yeah. And how long does that beef last for? Hello, Nick. Seconds. Right. Seconds. Need By the time I'm in the shower, it's bingo wings are flapping in my face. Right. And then after that, it's kettlebell stuff. Mm. And then ab pike. By the way. Yeah. Go on, Pip. Um, Matt's popped the Tim Leoru thing oh, on, your, did on your homepage. He's so quick, Matt. So I get oh, to Will find has. out. Sorry, Will. Will's oh, found it. He's so quick, Will. All right. Now... Did Tim Lioru on Classic FM this morning say hello to all the WHFers, those people who are working from home, <laughs> but working from home wouldn't be WHF? No. Mm -hmm. Or did he say WFHers? And you just misheard him. And I've misheard him and I am. I need to go back to bed because <laughs> I'm not getting enough sleep. Shall we all find out together? Let's find out. Yeah, all right. Uh, you may have noticed him. The, the man who does... Po if you watch Pointless every day, uh, make sure before you do that you have started your day with Alexander Armstrong. He's here with the Classic FM Hall of Fame Hour from nine every day. Just sets you up absolutely perfect, especially if you are one of those uh, WHFers these days, the work from homers. Alexander Armstrong, with the Classic FM Hall of Fame Hour. From yes, I'm right! Yay! WHFers! <laughs> you know, if you're one of those WHFers, the work from home people. <laughs> That's good. You were right. <laughs> Actually, my mate is currently working from home. He, oh, wa he? he was working for the CMAY. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's that? The hostel, you know, the... Oh, the CMAY. Sorry, I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, did you see last night, speaking of which, mm. uh, CBB1 had a breakdown last night. Now, I didn't know about this. BBC1 um, had a nightmare last night. So what happened? Has somebody pulled a wire out again? Well, they shouldn't have done. Now on BBC One, it's, uh, uh, panorama, and then the show starts and it just pauses. Mm. And I was on my iPad doing stuff, so I wasn't really paying attention. So there's a gap, and I was watching. I just wa I watched the one show in HD. Oh yeah. And still in 2020, the BBC HD channel, BBC One HD, sometimes has a show on, sometimes doesn't. Yeah. Sometimes just has tweeting birds because. That show's not in HD. I was thinking about this yesterday. Why is that? I have no idea. No, not sure. Unless either. it's like an old show, but just play it. I remember Channel 4 went HD mm. and called themselves Channel 4 HD. And yeah. some of the shows weren't in HD. They just didn't care. Didn't care. <laughs> when it was in yeah. HD, it was. When it wasn't, it wasn't. It's usually when they opt out to local news, isn't it? About sort of half six-ish or something like that. Yeah. You start seeing tweets. And now birds. the local news where you are. They don't have the same cameras as we do, so if you're watching the HD channel, you ain't going to see it. I don't notice. I, d I can't tell. Well, not can't tell the difference. But I don't notice if I'm watching in HD or no. Well, if you oh, BBC One is that's annoying. Have you got Have you got Sky? Yes. So BBC One One Hundred One. That's not HD. Right. It's fuzzy television. The BBC HD channel is like Channel One One Five. Mm. Right. But not every show they show is in HD. Yeah. Mm. So rather than just showing it and going, it's not in HD this one, but whatever. Mm. They they don't show it. Right. They just have a holding card. It's a holding page. So you have to switch over to your, your yeah. non-HD So they channel. couldn't show, like, the normal channel on HD, because that would be... But they should do that. I don't... Yeah, no. So BBC Two is HD. Yeah. Mm. BBC One is not HD. No. It's a uh, faff. Yeah, it is. So <clears throat> they go, now on BBC One... Mm. 
Was, yeah. it, was that guy? Oh, it's, there's one guy who is very, yeah. I know that the guy you know. In half an hour, I'll be down to Albert Square. It's done now. <laughs> yeah, it's like on a very small trampoline. So the show starts, and then it stops. Mm. And then there's nothing but silence. So I just assume it's not in eight, they've switched HD off. Yeah. Well, we seem to be having some technical difficulties. I've been new that programme. I was hoping you that programme in just a few moments. And then they put up a holding, there's technical oh. difficulties card. Is that the card? Okay. Yeah. And then nothing. Sorry about this. Uh, you can see we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Hopefully we'll get panorama to you in just a moment. Silence. Oh, no, horrible. So at this point, I'm like, what's going on? Mm. <clears throat> and I'd say it's a couple of minutes in. It's very unusual. Because normally they get, they get it back yeah. fairly quickly. You're watching BBC One. Um, we are having the problems with the technical gremlin side of t things. Oh, no. We'll hopefully have, and I'm like, oh, no, oh. this is a nightmare. And it just got better and better <laughs> oh, and honestly. better to the point where <clears throat> I'm texting my mate Gav. And Gav used to do continuity yeah. for the BBC, and he still does mm. certain channels now. So I'm like, oh, this is great. This is brilliant. Are you watching? He goes, oh, no. Then I'm th messaging James Robinson and Matt Park Smith. Because it's basically tech porn. Yeah, yeah, it's very tech. Guys, yeah. get BBC One on now. You're <laughs> going gonna to love it. This is absolute <laughs> class. It's brilliant. Here on BBC One, we are working very hard to get our programmes back on the air. And as soon as we can, we'll have something Sorry, that's, to watch. Sorry, that's, that's my wire making that noise, by the way. Sounds a bit like Jeremy Vine. It does yes. a bit. He's got the voice that goes like this. Yeah. It's like a roller coaster goes up and then it goes back down again. It comes back down again. Here on BBC One, we are working very hard to get our programmes back on air, and as soon as we can, we'll have something for you to watch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless Now, him. you, you, you knew they were in trouble when they start playing the music, because they didn't play the music for ten minutes. Oh. This went on for about a quarter of an hour. And it, so it's just silence, and then obviously they go, Go and say something! Yeah, BBC One, well, with nothing's working. <laughs> see, you, see you in a minute. I mean, what do you say? Oh, yeah. Are you ad libbing at this point? Yes. Is, yeah. Oh, he's, making... he's definitely ad libbing. A little bit about myself. <laughs> well, <laughs> I got us happy in lockdown. So, you know, the broom cupboard with Philip Schofield, Andy Peters? Yeah. That used to be the BBC One continuity booth yeah. where they would go, now on BBC One, EastEnders. That's where the guy would sit. Right. So, they just put a camera in there for, mm. and that became the broom cupboard. Right. So, when uh, they would introduce neighbours. Yeah. And then they'd leave. Mm. The guy would then go, and oh, now the BBC News at six o'clock with Jan Leeming. That guy would be sat yeah. in the broom cupboard. Yeah, that's so cool. So I'm like, <clears throat> just put a camera on or let him talk. They used to do that. They did, um, for a while, they used to visualise the continuity guys. So yeah, so, re so regionally, regionally, on regional telly, they, they never did it in Yorkshire, but they would do it on others. You'd have some woman sat next to a coffee table with a plant on it going, <laughs> good evening. <laughs> Oh, dumb. What? Oh, dear. Why would you spat your water out? Why, she have a, why was she on a coffee table with a plant next to No, time? she was in a chair. She oh, was sat on a coffee table. <laughs> she was sat Swing on the coffee legs. Table. Evening, viewers. You all right? Oh, sorry, Pip. Thanks. <laughs> they, right. um, <laughs> so, yeah, in certain parts of the country, they would show it. Right. But anyway, my point is, yeah. there was just silence, and every, like, 90 seconds, he'd go, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, just let him talk. Yeah. Because you've, you're showing nothing. And they would never, ever, ever, ever do this. They would never allow it. Mm. But let him, just let him talk. Put a camera on and go, do you want to see what I look like? Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> going to put a camera on me. Here I am. Why don't you follow me on Twitter? There you go. Yeah. yeah. You never knew that, did you? Yeah. Oh, that, that, that shocked you. You thought I was a white guy, didn't you? Ah, well, it's just voices, isn't so it? So they should do, like, what they could have done a menu for what's coming up for the next week. He something. could have told us a little bit about himself. Just, just tell us, do something rather than yeah. we, having the... The, the difficulties of technology mm. at the moment. Yeah. So anyway, this kept going on and on and on. Just then the eventually they start playing the music, mm. and I'm like, I've not heard breakdown music no, for a long time. It's very unusual. This is bad. And obviously they're shouting in his ear. Okay, we got it now. We got it now. And he's going, okay, we can now go. Hold on. We can we can now just just wait a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> the poor fella. Oh, that's horrible. So he had his money yesterday. This is yeah. some of what happened yesterday. Here on BBC One, we are working very hard to get our programmes back on air, and as soon as we can, we'll have something for you to watch. Right. 
lovely. Are you playing keyboards in the background at the same time? That's right. <laughs> That's the whole band then. Yeah. Oh. Is the music going? No. Oh, okay. All right. So. Now, obviously, behind the scenes, they're going crazy. Oh, yeah, running around like headless chickens. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh. What I'm going to say, we can now bring you a replacement program for Panorama. It's Garden Rescue. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, where is it? Where it is gets it? worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, I made a bit of a mistake there, so I apologise for that. Oh. In <laughs> fact, we can bring you Panorama now, and here it is on BBC One. Oh no, it's not again. Oh, it's horrible. Oh. <laughs> Hello? And then the picture comes up <laughs> and nothing happens. Right. Then it starts. Right. And then about 60 seconds later, oh, no. it no. lost all audio. No. So you just saw the picture. <laughs> oh. And then it was silent for about maybe two minutes. And then just as it cut back to him, the sound came on. <laughs> so you couldn't see the picture, but you could hear the sound as he's going, oh, sorry about that. We seemed, oh, oh, it was a no. nightmare. It was oh. brilliant. And the worst thing is, I wanted to watch the show. Yeah. Poor but God. then... Oh, bless Will Guyatt's just messaged. Yeah, morning, so, Will. Will, what happens then? Because then BBC One is 15 minutes behind itself. Because oh, obviously right, okay, that yeah. half-hour show that should have started at half seven didn't start yeah. till quarter to eight. Yeah. So the next thing is, uh, uh, instead of eight o'clock EastEnders, it's quarter past eight. Yeah, so at some point they've got to get rid of a show. So I what? I don't know what they did. Yeah. Hello? Oh. Oh, oh bless lovely. him. That's horrible. Filling is tricky. Yeah, oh. I mean, just being told to say anything. Yeah. People's minds go blank, talk, even... Go and talk now, talk. Yeah, you it's, can do it, Chris. It's that bit where he just... It does sound like he just punches the microphone out of... Yeah. <laughs> whilst yeah. his voice is like this, you hear him kind of whack the mic yeah. as if he's... He sounds calm, but he's actually yeah. raging. It's a giveaway, isn't I'm it? I'm livid. <laughs> oh, stand by. What I'm going to say, we can now bring you a replacement programme for Panorama. It's Garden Rescue. Oh, Garden Rescue. Oh. I'd have to watch that. Could you can I get a panorama back? Right, that would be a lot better to watch panorama then. Well, unfortunately, I made a bit of a mistake there, so I apologise for that. <laughs> In fact, we can bring you panorama now, and here it is on BBC One. Ah, uh, bless him. Well done. <laughs> that's, tr that's, that's a tough gig. I think that's Dell. Dell, is it? Yeah. I think okay. so. Well, well, done, well done to him. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think they should do it once a month. Yeah. Keep the continuity to people on their toes. Absolutely. Now on BBC One, it's time for EastEnders. Yeah. It's not on Phil. Huh? Just talk. Uh. Uh. uh <laughs> hello? Uh. 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 My name's M Mike. Um. I, I'm from Colchester. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've only ever spoken um, for eight seconds before the show. I've never, I've never actually spoken for longer than eight seconds um, out loud. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> um, uh, let's not get a um. The Chris Moyle Show uh, with Green Flag Breakdown Cover. There for you, twenty four seven. Radio X.